Uh, Montreal. That would be Big Adam. And you cannot say Thierry Henry as a coach. No, I didn't. I actually – I don't mind him. He, I know. I, he's done very well for what Montreal has. Yeah, he's made Montreal do decently with a team that shouldn't even be on the field. Yeah. Um, so this one was hard because apparently Montreal doesn't spend money on anybody ever. Mm-hmm. Um, all their big name guys are literally all free transfers. Every single one. Victor Onyama, Boyan, Tider, literally every single one. Um, so I put at the moment, and don't yell at me, I put Victor Onyama for the same reason. I'm sure they spent a ridiculous amount of money bringing him in as far as his contract, and he's not doing anything. I'm sure he will do very well in that system because Montreal, yes, Andrew. He's not doing anything because there are no games to do anything yet. That, but, that's what, but that's what I mean. He signed the day before the league got shut down. That sucks for Montreal. It's not his fault, but from a business standpoint, you're paying him all his money to do nothing on a DP contract. Um, the other I, one, yeah, the other I one I just – can. Sorry, I, I don't think that you can say that. No. When no. nobody saw it coming. Like if they signed him and the, they went over the summer and he didn't do anything and then he just chose not to play – Different story, but nobody saw this coming. So no, I know. Um, I the I just honorable mention, but the the one I picked was the decision to let Derek Valentin go. You're you're doing more decision based. Interesting. I am. Um, only because when I didn't realize he was at Montreal because he's only there for a year. Obviously, when you think of him, you think of all the success he had in Portland. Mm-hmm. So obviously, the talent was there, and then whoever at Montreal at the time was like, I don't think you're good enough. So he said, okay, I'm going to go prove myself and win MLS Cups without you guys. Yeah, that's fair. Um, um, I went – oh, wait, no, yeah, Connor, sorry, that's your, it's your go. Yeah, why don't, why don't you stay in order, buddy boy? Oh, Connor, why don't you move your head? <laughs> no, that's all right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Watch <laughs> yourself. Watch yourself. Um, I went with a player that was in Montreal on loan for a year. And while he was on loan there, he took up a designated player spot. And it was Lucas Ontivero. Mm -hmm. So he came over on a loan from Galatasaray. He made 21 appearances for Montreal. And he finished with two goals and two assists. And a 6.52 rating, which was 17th highest on the team. And, you know, like as Adam said, they don't spend a lot. So it, it wasn't... There wasn't, like, a clear-cut choice, I feel like. So I went with Antevero because he was a DP and because he was only there for a year, only made 21 appearances, in which only 12 that he started, and he, only getting two goals and two assists just wasn't good enough as a designated player for me. Interesting, yeah. For me, again, I didn't look at anybody who was on loan because – I assume essentially it's just one of those. We'll take him in, try him out. If he doesn't work, he goes. Um, fun fact: He played for Orlando City B as of last year. Um, just for fun. For me, Rudy Camacho. Kind of a weird one, but he was brought in for eight hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars in twenty eighteen. Played eighteen games and then played seventeen games in twenty nineteen. Montreal only picked up like one point three five points per game. And he only had seven clean sheets in the 35 games he played. That Montreal team was bad. Yeah, Montreal misses a playoff both years, so he didn't strengthen the back line at all. He just kind of sucked. Um, granted, again, not many players around him, not many coaches to get the best out of him, but, you know, he, he left Evan Bush out to dry. So, Was that the back line with, like, Sonia and Fanny? Rod and Fanny and all of yeah. them are, like, 40 years old. and Yeah. Can run. yeah. Oh, that was – I hated watching that team. I loved watching it because it shows why nobody should buy 40-year-old players anymore. Exactly. Except Marcus Beasley. Marcus Beasley can come back and play K-70. <laughs> and apparently Danny Wilson. And yeah, apparently according Danny to you. Wilson. Yeah. Danny Wilson, 2055. Mark it down. Yeah, there you go. LAFC. LAFC, baby. <laughs>